My name is Soliman Shukur. I am senior scientist at the Polytechnic of Lausanne. Uh, I am also the co-PI on this project, uh, which aim at restoring thermal sensation for people with upper limb amputation. The goal of this project was to develop a neurotechnological module to restore thermal sensation in people with upper limb amputation, a problem that is notoriously complex and has not been um, achieved so far. Our first discovery was to find that people with upper limb amputation, when stimulated in specific part of their amputated arm, could feel sensation, thermal sensation in their phantom hand. We call that the thermal phantom sensation. And more than that, we found that the majority of the people that we tested, we actually tested that on 27 upper limb amputees, the majority of them had those sort of phantom sensation. Using this technique, the participants could feel if an object was hot, cold, or dangerously hot but also could detect different materials that they were in contact with, for example, glass, plastic, or metal. Importantly, this technology is totally non-invasive, meaning it doesn't necessitate a surgery, and gives a sensation which is similar to the one that the patient had on their intact arm. In other words, it is phenomenologically similar to what we, they would have with their intact arm. Furthermore, and what is maybe even more exciting for us, Temperature sensation is essential to communicate emotional information among humans. So we think that the restoration of thermal feedback for amputees would be a key factor for them to feel more embodied, to feel their prosthetic more part of themselves, and also for them to be more empathic and feel more in contact with the people around them. I'm Federico Morosato, a researcher of Centro Protesinal di Vigorso di Budrio and an investigator of the study. The study was promoted by Centro Protesina in collaboration with Scuola Superiore Sant'Anna of Pisa and EPFL of Lausanne. As Centro Protesina, we collaborate continuously with national and international organizations, companies and universities and in research institutes to investigate the possibility to create innovative uh, bionic interfaces to be integrated with the prosthesis we produced in our workshops. Uh, and prospectively, this solution can be provided to our assisted. As a clinical center, we uh, actively involve our patients in our research activities. Patients are happy to participate because they know they can provide a contribution in the development of important solutions for them and for persons in the same clinical condition. For example, in the present study, when we presented the possibility to get back temperature sensation on the phantom lean or the possibility to feel the contact with different materials, we obtained a lot of positive feedback. And eventually, we were able to recruit more than 25 volunteers in less than two years. The study was conducted inside Centro Protesina, that is a facility of the central direction of prosthetics, assistance and rehabilitation of inhale. I'm Francesco Birite and I am a PhD student in Silvestro Michela's lab in Scuola Superiore Sant'Anna, Pisa. The work that we are presenting today aims to restore thermal sensations in upper limb prosthesis users. So, we have chosen temperature for two main reasons. Temperature gives us information about the type of object we are interacting with. The material that we are interacting with will have different temperatures. Obviously, Temperature says us if an object is safe, is safe to handle or not. For example, in a kitchen scenario, you can imagine, or um, during our daily life. On the other side, temperature is important during social interactions. It's important for us, and maybe we don't even realize, when we feel the heat of, of the skin of our loved ones or our friends, when we touch them, when we, we, when we, we touch their shoulders, or we, we, we touch their hands. In order to do that, we designed a wearable thermal stimulator that can, that can be mounted on the socket and deliver the thermal sensations in a completely non-invasive way. Paired with this stimulator, we also designed a completely novel thermal sensor that we, that we called Active Thermal Sensor. 
Why? Because the sensor not only can measure the temperature of the object we are interacting with, but can also mimic the way in which our finger is heated by the blood flow. In this way, we can directly feed the temperature we are measuring at the level of the finger using the active thermal sensor to our wearable thermal stimulator. We believe that this study paves the way for a new type of non-invasive prosthesis in which not only tactile sensations are restored but also thermal and we can wait to see what will be the great benefits that users will have in the long term. We expect obviously to have a better embodiment and in general a better acceptability with a continuous use of these thermal sensations in the daily life of the, of the prosthesis users. La sensazione di caldo o di freddo la senti irradiarsi, la sento irradiarsi al, nelle varie dita in un modo molto fluido. È bello anche riuscire a sentire nuovamente una mano in un modo molto più intenso, come quasi se tu stessi toccando un oggetto freddo o un oggetto caldo, perché questa sensazione parte, si irradia nella mano senti finalmente una temperatura in una mano che, che, che non c'è più. Quindi è molto intensa e è, è bello. Ho dei punti mh, che riesco a distinguere le, le varie dita nella parte dorsale piuttosto che eh, del palmo. Quindi per dire, nel, nella parte che abbiamo fatto adesso dell'esperimento, io sentivo questa parte della mano la sensazione di caldo o di freddo in questa parte della mano. Quindi è come se fosse un oggetto che stesse toccando questo punto. Sicuramente è interessante riuscire a sentire sia il, il tocco della presa ma anche la sensazione di temperatura, di temperatura di questo oggetto piuttosto che anche la stretta di mano di una persona perché puoi anche incontrare un soggetto che in quel momento ha una mano fredda tu riesci a sentirlo il soggetto quando hai un, una stretta di mano, quindi ti dà un'emozione, un un'emozione secondo me positiva. Ho conosciuto questo progetto tramite il centro protesi INAIL di Budrio, Durante questo progetto abbiamo fatto dei test sulle temperature, è iniziato con queste prove di caldo e freddo che sono state molto utili per capire le cose che toccavo, se avevano una temperatura più o meno alta. E la sensibilità del, del caldo e freddo non era solo sulla pelle ma andava in profondità sull'arto fantasma. Questa sensazione è una cosa nuova perché avevo già avuto altre sensazioni ma solo oh, tattili e non di temperatura. Sentire il caldo e il freddo direttamente sull'arto fantasma per me è stata una novità perché non pensavo assolutamente che attraverso gli stimoli dati sul Moncone si potesse arrivare all'arto fantasma ed è stata una cosa, una sensazione molto forte e importante. La stimolazione era sulla, sul Moncone su, immediatamente sulla pelle del moncone, però poi si trasferiva direttamente sull'arto fantasma. Praticamente io sentivo come se il caldo e il freddo fosse sull'indice. Questa tecnologia, se fosse portata avanti col caldo e il freddo, potrebbe essere molto utile e portare dei vantaggi utilizzandola in cucina. Ed è molto utile specialmente col forno, o con le pentole più calde o più fredde e per capire la temperatura.